when you build a car, you need to get inside the customer's head without realising just how far I'd got in there. I think we pretty much nailed it. It's the ultimate wire for the customer. It's not the ultimate wire for everybody. You can't deny the quality, and you can't deny it fits. It's all in flavour. This is a Model A Ford, 1930s era. It is a custom car, although it's not the gender that people normally think of as custom car. All the stuff we normally take off of cars is on the car and exaggerated. It's very Adams Family, Munster, Gothic. Paul was commissioned to create Deliverance by horror aficionado Harvey Clark, who had a clear vision of what he wanted. He's taken the base idea of the car that he saw and fell in love with, and he kicked it out of the park. He's got a V8 engine, but it wasn't big enough, so he made it bigger. It wasn't fast enough, so he made it supercharged. Everything on the car has gone up to the ultimate. Harvey originally bought the car off celebrated designer Mark Brazer Jones. Mark worked with Harvey and Paul in creating some of the key designs for deliverance, like the spooky front grille and the skull door handles. Each piece had to add to Harvey's overall vision. The whole build took Paul and his team three years. When the car came to us, she was pretty run down. It had a good flavour, but everything on the car was worn out. So we took the car under wing and found out it was pretty wrecked. We repaired the chassis for starters. Whilst doing repair work, we upgraded. So we got better suspension, better brakes, better engine, better gearbox. We've made the car run and drive like a proper hot rod, but the look is completely different to what we'd normally do. The whole car is kind of gothic flavoured. You'll see details everywhere, little bats on here, little cobwebs in here. Harvey decided he wanted really big lights in the front. All handmade in England. The reminiscence of early Rolls Royce type headlamps. It's got independent front suspension. It's got Jaguar rear suspension. The engine's a Rover. It's bored out to 3.9 litre. It's supercharged. It runs sweet. It's got plenty of power. Five speed manual behind it. It actually drives like a modern day car. The interior of the car, Harvey said, I want it to look like the inside of a coffin. Well, what do you think? We've got button drain on the seats. We've got skulls. We've got an eye and a gear lever. There's little tiny skulls all the way across the interior. Everything there is bespoke. It's all handmade. Imagine trying to stretch this material two directions at one and keep the line straight all the way down the roof. If you go underneath it, it says deliverance. You can see it cast in at the back axle. The devil is in the detail. I do get very connected to the cars we build. Probably too connected sometimes. It's almost hard to let them go, but I can't stop myself. You can't cut the quality at three quarters. You've got to give it 100%, whether you're going to make the money out of it or not. Ordinary public people tend to love it. Proper hardcore hot rodders don't get it. A hardcore hot rodder would take off most of this stuff and concentrate on smoother, finer details. The car is personal to Harvey. Most people like it, some don't. That's life, is it? You can't please everybody all the time. <laughs>